Good morning, folks, and welcome to the early bird catches the hippie. Look behind me. 8.30 in the morning. Isn't this beautiful? Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? Right now, it's plus 15. Feels like 15. There's no wind. Going to 25 today. So, instead of going, instead of trying to go down to the river on the hottest part of the day, that's the most taxing on an old man like me, I decided to head down and let the early bird catch the hippie. I have a pocket full, pocket full of water because I've not been well, and a pocket full of seeds for the birds. And I gotta stop and say hi to my good friend Gus. So, yeah, here comes Gus. How you doing, Gus? How you doing, buddy? Let's say hi to the camera, okay? There we go. There's our buddy. There's your buddy, yes. There was a bit of an interruption there, but a really beautiful interruption. I love my little friend Gus. And he ain't so little, and he's a daddy now. Eleven puppies, and the mum's not doing well, so all eleven puppies are being bottle-fed. He showed me a picture, but it's his to share, not mine. So, what do I mean by, uh, I forget what I was talking about. But friends, I'm going to the river. One, because I miss the river. But two, a hot day like this would be too hard on me. Later in the day, going down there. I say that, but I'm... I will still go there if my young boy Pasha says, yeah, I want to. Because you do what you got to do for your kids. But today is a day where I truly feel all the, uh, both my boys, all my kids, both my boys will sleep in and quite late. And it's a rather boring kind of Sunday morning sitting at home with your feet up watching the tube. So instead, pitter patter, let's get at her. Let's head to the river and see what the morning brings. Hippie transport, engage. We made it, my dear friends, we made it to the river. It is absolutely beautiful down here. Finally, I can get to my spot at the peak of this spot. And there's some pretty geese right there, but it'll be part of the montage. Yes, the early birds have caught this hippie. I know that there are some birds here, so while I talk to you, I will hold my hand out and hopefully catch their attention. As I said, it happens. The early bird catches our hippie and let's see if we can get a few more that one grabbed the seed so fast and took off a little nervous but it's down there eating it and let's see if I can get a few more it's unusual to have them here in this bramble of bushes but there are more I know and there will be more in the montage coming up because I am preparing one. It's just such a beautiful day that you should experience it through music, through my eyes. So friends, while I try to attract a few more birds, let's skip to the montage. And then at the end, I'll come back. I'll come back and I'll let you know what I found. Here comes... It finished that, should at least get one more. And then I'll go to a new area. And no, they've moved on. So friends, that seed goes out into the, into the river. It'll feed somebody. And this is what the old man needed. I've had since, since my little spell that I had on Thursday 
where I got really dizzy and sick and and uh, vertigo and and just a really really bad day. Since then I have felt wow that sky's beautiful yes squirrel. Since then I have felt off. I have felt a little lightheaded and even had a few more dizzy spells and the birds are now coming close to me because they want more. Yes see but here we go uh, the river is low or lower than it's been. It used to be high, so did I. Now let's see what we could see. And no, that didn't rhyme too well, but the birds are aplenty. So let's pitter patter, get at her. Let's show you the video, let's show you the music, and let's move on to the day. Peace. That birdie wanted me, but I don't have anything for it. And here we go. a funny little walk we had today. Absolutely amazing there. The birds are all over the place. And as you saw, there was a, a mama or dad goose that looked like a dad that was uh, pretty upset at me for uh, getting his goslings to follow me. They were following me because they thought I had food. And I think... Uh, Mom or Dad said, You ain't doing that with my kids. Stop feeding my kids. So, that was funny. I did not see the chickadees again, but I did get to touch base with them. 
There were birds everywhere. The early bird certainly tried to get the hippie. They came straight to me. The very first thing I do when I come down to the river is find a little spot out of the way to have a moment to myself. And uh, right away, I had a bird on my shoulder. And so that's why I took the camera out pretty quick and made sure that we got a moment or two with those beautiful birds. And now that that's done, and now that I'm, I'm totally feeling better, my son has already uh, dropped me a note and said, hey dad, I'm up now. And uh, that was probably 15, 20 minutes ago. Didn't, it didn't make me want to go home, even though I love my boy, because, wow, this is beautiful. But I am way overdressed. This jacket is way too hot. It was 15 when I left. I'm sure it's 20 already. And once I put this camera down, I'm going to take the jacket off and carry it home and start editing this and prepare for my Sunday night live show. I, my friends, am a lucky man. I live in a beautiful, beautiful place where even though I am in the middle of an almost two million person city, I can take you here and I can show you the wildlife. And believe me, I wish I could show you the rest. One day I'll come here real early because there are beavers, there are coyotes. I have in my channel previously shown both beaver and coyote here. Shown beaver. Don't comment on that one. You'll get me in trouble. And here we are the end of this for you it's probably monday or later so i am hoping that your week is fantastic that your monday is not like most mondays and instead beautiful wonderful and full of fun happy sunday too i hope it was good for you it was good for me so now Let's happily say peace and cheers. Love and harmony.